Hi everybody, hey yo what up it's your boy Disaster, back at it again with another Elder Scrolls Legends video. So today we're going to take some Singleton Telvanni to the ladder, um, I'll put the deck list in the description. It's come to my attention that YouTube doesn't allow copying and pasting of deck lists very good, but if you're diligent you can write it down. Um, if I were you I wouldn't copy this deck list anyway. <laughs> um, this is a gum chew deck, but I didn't have all the cards. I was 10 cards short for gum chew singleton Telvani list. So I have just subbed in some of my own. Um, the big ones being Divious Experiments is my only tricolor Telvani card. So that made it in. Um, I don't have Oderner and Necromancer, so Reanimate made it in. And uh, yeah, let's hope this doesn't suck. Let's take it to ladder. This is probably gonna be a long video. Because Telvani games last forever. Unless I meet Aggro and Aggro just smokes me. Let's go. These Q times though. I remember back in my day. When it was like two seconds and you found a game. Ooh, 18. Let's go. So, Telvanni versus Dagoth. Met Foma the Mad. What kind of Dagoth player do we have here? Let's move that down. Ooh, boy -o. <clears throat> Um, It's actually not a bad starting hand. Sure. Let's do what we can do. Oh, my camera's down in the this corner of my screen where my face is, so I might end up swinging my finger over the camera to move cards. I apologize for that. Just how I normally hold my phone. Let's start establishing a presence in the field lane. See if I can draw them over there. And he goes shadow, which is okay. It's a card draw, which we're going to Black Hand Messenger out of existence right away here. The black hand sees all. So, Stop good for him. There, he got a card. But, Stop right there, criminal scum. now he's got no board presence. He's got six in hand. I've got four in hand. Enemy spotted. Well, this actually is working out with my starting hand. All three of my starting cards have been played by turn four. Stop right there, criminal scum. And we're okay with this. With the Danger Noodle. That's quite alright. I can get behind that. Let's just ramp a little bit. I don't think this deck really focuses on ramp. I haven't really used it too much also. Again, this is something I copied from Gumchu. And, uh... Yeah, I much prefer actually building my own decks, but I'm also not a master deck builder. Hey, first room prophecy. Here you go, buddy. Um, now what do we want to do here? Hmm. If I was in stream, I'd ask you guys, but I'm not in stream, so I don't know what to play here. Let's... Oh no, that's my face. Okay, let's just put the Discerning Thief down. Um, I picked that because I like the stats and it doesn't have guard. I mean, Ayende is more attack-based, but I can put Ayende down when I can know that it's going to go off for its effect, and I didn't know that it was going to go off just yet, so... That's my rationale there. Oh, he's just reaching. Okay, no yellow. So he doesn't have Dawn's Wrath. I can stack the field lane still. I think I'm going to put Dark Seducer over there. Lethal and Ward. That was really smart, actually. Well... When it dies, summon it as a 1-1. One, one. 
too slow. Come on, Zumog. Well, that was a whole pile of fun. Um, no, we're going to save Skinned Hound. How many creatures died this turn? Oh, I can't summon Ande anyway. Okay, no worries. We're going to save our Skinned Hound. He's got lots of cards. I don't like how many cards he's got. That Prophecy Fighter's Guild recruit was clutch for him. wonder what Met Foma is thinking here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. I've got three on board and four in hand. He's got to have some kind of big play here. It's turn seven with Dagoth. Um, Are you listening to me? Therana is a scary play. I do not have Therana in my deck. So it's a very scary play. Well, that, that isn't the reason why it's a scary play, but I'm just, yeah, I don't have Therana in my deck, and it's a scary play. Okay, um, what have we got here? He's probably going to start playing a bunch of actions next turn to try and take advantage of Therana on field. I have no way to get rid of it from hand this turn, which is disappointing. Um, just thinking here, I don't really need to get rid of Ungolim, but... What do you think the chances are that he has a finish off in his hand? I don't want to wound Zumog and then have him get pinched here. Um, let's just... No, it's he's going to try and clone actions this turn. So, no. Let's just play one card because I don't have a lot of cards to play. No, because I don't want the health. I want the cards right now. Let's... Okay, let's make a call. That's what I decided to do here. So we split the lanes a little bit. We're a little bit vulnerable to Immolating Blast. Um, who will survive the Immolating Blast? This and this will survive Immolating Blast if he plays Blast. Lightning Bolt. That's a scary thing for him to shuffle three zero costs into his deck. Three... Wow. That's a scary thing for him to shuffle four zero costs into his deck. That is terrifying. And I still don't have an answer for Therana. Let's see... Hang on. Maybe he gets one of those Prophecy Bolts right now. Nope, he doesn't. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in his hand. He's got oh, 6 in his hand. He's going to have 7 this turn. He's got all those zero-cost Bolts in his deck. You to mess with me. Just so next turn that I can turn around and end this Therana based on what I have on board right now. Wait. I don't want to set it up so that I lose a bunch of stuff to Immolating Blast just yet. Everyone's running that to play anti-Dagoth. Or, excuse me, anti-Invade. So I really don't want to get blasted. What are you doing there? Reveal three random cards. Choose one. Well. Hmm. I don't even care what it is. I just appreciate the card at this point. What do I have on board? 4, 8, 11. I don't have any orcs in this deck, so that's useless. <coughs> 3, 2 with breakthrough. Oh well. Let's line up some customers. Now, where was I? Oh yes, murder. Ooh, <coughs> that was a nice draw. So, how do we handle this going forward? We are going to... Okay, so one, two... There's three creatures that are going to die this turn, for sure. Okay, so I'm going to kill you. We are going to trade. So that's three that have died. I'm going to put Sorcerer... 
over here. We draw power from their Renegade guards and Clockwork Dragon guards. But I can't afford to play them both. I can play... Guards. I don't necessarily need a guard though right now. Um, he's got 19 health. So 4, 8. This would be 12. 13, 14, 15 damage on the board. I just don't want to stack too much and be vulnerable to blast. I'm really suspicious that this Dagoth player has three blasts in his deck, and I don't want to eat an immolating blast. That was an unexpected pick. Wow. Wow. Mentor's ring, eh? Give this creature's keywords to other friendly creatures. That's good. I like it. So should I stack the board first? If I debilitate... Hmm. I have some options this turn, but what are we going to do after all? I'm not going to debilitate this turn, so if I gargoyle over here... If I clockwork over here... If I mentors ring you... We're gonna trade. And... I think I'm just gonna sit tight. So I could have killed that guard by smashing those two creatures into it. But we'll see what he has to do here. Because I can turn around and debilitate my way to the top if I need to. I don't really have anything that can push through that guard and that lethal right now. But I have my seducer that's been sitting in my hand forever. He's going to start getting those zero lightning bolts real soon. Well, Galen is a bad choice with the dark seducers, but I don't know. Any cards? I don't think Galen's going to do anything anyway at this point. So, I'm going all in, I guess. Even if he blasts, if he's been saving that blast, the, uh, both the big things in each lane are going to stay alive. That's no worries. Okay, so I... Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, I thought that would have healed me, but I guess I'm wrong. So he's got some animals coming. Oh my goodness. See... <laughs> I just don't have enough magic to make that, or do I? Debilitate goes down to 5, which would make it cost 14. Shucks, eh? If I just wipe his side of the board. Let's see if I have to. If I can double debilitate next turn to clear the board, I might need to. Yeah, 
If I debilitated this turn, it would have left lethal on the board. But he could have put Barbus to charge. And it would have cleared the seducer anyway. He's got a lot of catch-up to do. And I only have six damage I need to deal. I lurk in the shadows. Wait. Yep. His supports are arguably much stronger than my supports right now. We'll see if I can close this. I think I went all in one turn too soon, and he might be able to crawl back from this. Oh, if you're shooting my mushroom tower. That's upsetting. Our all-ins against each other. Wow. Yeah, he's going to come back and win this. Um, how can I get around this here? Okay, so that is summon, draw a card. This is summon, gain all keywords friendly creatures have. I don't have enough good keywords. This is summon, draw a random daedra. Summon, deal one damage, or destroy a support. Um, geez, tough call. This is just guard, basically. Um, who can I Abner? I can play both cards this turn, but... We'll rally our Abner. We're going to play our Abner. And draw a card. And we'll debilitate. Just to see if that can slow him down enough. Because his health gain is what's scary right now. Now he only gains 3 health per turn. And I'm swinging for 4 damage. If I play Emmerich, I'll have 9 damage on the board, but I can trick for 2. He should swing face with everything right now and regain some health. Our super top deck mode is on. I think I should... Use the ice spike from Emric just to hit him in the face. <clears throat> Feel my reach your so he's up to 16. I'm down to 32. Come to submit. Oh. To die. Well, if that wasn't the. 8 and 6 is 14 though, isn't it? Well, shucks. I guess I gotta do what I gotta do to keep the health gain out of here. Guard lethal ward. Can't have him recovering 7 health per turn. That just won't do. So here we go. This long ass game is long ass. Wow, the forge and the stone are unbelievable right now. Okay, so we're shadow fenning. I'm not scared of anything in that left lane right now. What's he got over there? Four, six, seven damage. It'll give me a card. Right lane. Let's see if me weakening his board is the ticket here. 
Now, do I weaken the random items, or do I weaken the random keywords? First time, items or keywords. I think items are more deadly right now. You must be cleansed. I hate this crowd. Stand so he can heal for three, he'll get back up to 20. He's going. Are we on draw card? I like it. There will be sweetness for this one tonight. Oh my goodness. That was very fortuitous. Banish a creature and deal three damage to all other enemies. Okay, Soul Burst evens the playing field. We might be able to come back. He's healing for two, I'm dealing damage for seven. Okay, well. Five, seven. Okay, so we're going to squish. We're going to leaf. We're going to swing. We're going to swing. Oh man, I did not think I was going to come back and win this game. Tell Vani for the clutch with that soul burst. Let's. Well, hang on. I've I can win from hand here. That's okay. I don't need to show off. Good game, man. That was interesting i in the last two turns just got all the cards i needed to win between soul burst and siege um unbelievable wow i thought it was over what an interesting game went from strategy to top deck versus top deck to um, i just got every card that i needed so wow something to be said for end game telvani that's for sure i understand why i see it in the ladder all the time um i'm gonna go back to the deck list here and just show it one more time i will again put the deck in the description that soul burst though holy crap um yeah i that still that was perfect what a draw i think i only have one soul burst well i think it's a unique legendary though so yeah it's a unique legendary what a card okay um quick shot of the deck list here so that on uh galen i <laughs> galen three seducers into the deck and i just had to put something on the board so it was whatever um yeah super greedy deck it's fun it is again kind of a copy of gum Chews, but i was 10 cards short so i did the best i could um thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and uh we'll catch you guys next time